So here she is, 23 meters high, around 80 years old. She has been growing here since the war. A long life through cold and snowy winters and dry summers and stormy autumns with insects and fungi, all the wears and tears of nature. Nothing characterizes the city more than the Christmas tree from one of the forests that are surrounding the whole of Oslo. This is a forest that the citizens in Oslo really love and use a lot both summer and winter. Each year a Norwegian Bruce is carefully chosen and brought over the pound to England and Trafalgar Square. We have done that since 1947. The tree is a token of gratitude of all the help that the Norwegians and also citizens in Oslo got during the Second World War. That is 75 years ago. So the tree is now much more than that. The tree symbolizes hope for the future, friendship, peace and solidarity. Every year the tree is different and the forest keepers will tell you more about that. We manage the forests owned by the municipality of Oslo. It's approximately 16,000 hectares of uh, forest land covered with spruce, pine and some birch forests. That's equivalent to more than 20,000 football pitches. A good tree uh, for London is uh, approximately 21 meter high and it takes uh, 60 to 100 years to make a good tree. It will be symmetric with uh, a conic shape and uh, fresh branches so it uh, looks nice. The soil quality and also genetics plays major roles in how a tree grows. Genetics we can't do anything about in a natural forest but soil quality we can definitely do something about and for the last five to ten years of a Christmas tree's life we tend to give it a bit of nutrition if it's needed just to keep the needles green and fresh. As you can see the sunlight and the exposure plays a major role in how the tree shapes. A south facing tree normally gets thicker and longer and wider branches on the south side, while a north facing exposure gives the tree a more consistent daylight lighting throughout the season. So a Christmas tree has to get the right amount of sunlight all through their lives. If it's an open landscape, it will get too wide, so wide that we can't transport it along the road. We have to, to manage the tree and the environment around the tree at the right time. And that uh, is sometimes from a small tree to a bigger tree. This is approximately 30 years. That is uh, sometimes the right age to start the management of the tree. So we can make a plan for how to get it a nice tree after 50, 60 years from now. This is a natural forest and it takes time. What is a good tree in the dark is not the same as a good tree in daylight. The tree of the air is not too dense. As we see in, uh, when the sun is uh, behind the stem, we can see the light through the branches at the same time. The branches uh, look fresh, very green. So this is a, a good tree both for daylight and evening. Yeah, we have to calculate a lot. And that is uh, the weight of the tree, so we can uh, make the right uh, pressure on the crane, so the tree don't fall down and injure the chainsaw man. And the tree uh, for the air uh, have uh, maybe a weight, uh, something uh, about uh, three ton. And then we have to lift it over and carefully lie down on the truck. And then we connect the branches to the, uh, to the stem and then it's ready for the transportation. Mm -hmm. 
the first step on the travel to England, and that is uh, 180 kilometers by the road. And when it uh, comes to the marina, they put it into a container. What can damage the tree under the journey? That is, the wind can dry the needles, and this, this, the tree are prepared for the winter and take out the water from the cell and the needles, because if they have water uh, in the cells and the needles, they can uh, freeze and blow up in the winter. And at the road, it can be salt, hit the needles and damage them. And also, when you come to the marina, if the wind blows, it uh, can be more salt on the needles. So they can uh, be dried and uh, fell off. This is a tree of love from the citizens of Oslo. And I hope when the light is on at Trafalgar Square, the people in London and all over Britain will feel the love, the solidarity, and it, it's a token also for peace and hope for the future. And I hope you will take care of each other and I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a hopefully new year.